Hello everyone and welcome back finally to I've Been Playing where today we're talking about Paradise Killer. Paradise Killer is a mystery adventure visual novel mostly kind of a game where you are trying to solve a murder on Paradise Island. You were in exile for a very very long time and someone has murdered the council and it's up to you to solve it because you're the island's best investigator. The interface reminds me a lot of what I've played of Disco Elysium. Not the aesthetic at all, but the interface and stuff like that. The, the actual gameplay bit. And I have much the same problem with this that I did with Disco Elysium. Not that they're bad games, just I think they don't work as well as on consoles, and we'll get to that in a second. At least in my mind. It's not to say that either are bad games. Like I said, neither is a bad game. So when you start, you're up in your apartment where you've been exiled for a long time, you kind of wander around, you get contacted by someone, learn about this murder, and are told to jump off the side of your house because it's way, 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 way up in the air. And there's no fall damage, which is really useful for traversing, if I do say so myself. But basically, you're set loose on this island to explore and investigate and talk to people to learn what happened, investigate the scene of the crime. And from the looks of things, because I went up to talk to the person you talk to once you get there, well, technically the second person, and I don't know that they're actually a person. I don't really understand. There's a lot going on in this game, but they're called the judge and you talk to them initially, kind of learn what's going on, and then I talk to them again, and I could have just quote-unquote solved the murder right then and there without doing any investigation whatsoever. I'm sure there's some sort of ending for that. Probably not a good one, but you can do that if you want to see what happens. I almost did, but I didn't, because I didn't want to didn't want to ruin it immediately. I wanted to at least try. So you wander around in these sections in, the, in this city on this island, uh, it's the 24th iteration of this island. They're trying to create paradise, hence the island of the name, and they're on the 24th iteration of it because something goes wrong every time. And the movement in that section of the game, that portion of the game, reminds me a lot of Danganronpa, uh, where you're moving around and the people you can talk to are 2D, but everything else is 3D and there's stuff to collect and pick up and look at. It, it functions very similarly to Danganronpa if you've ever played that and know how that functions when you're walking around and not talking to people. So that's about all I've seen thus far. Really, I've investigated the scene of the crime, talked to some people. I'm playing it on Game Pass, so unfortunately I don't know if I'm going to have time to finish it in time before it leaves because it's leaving on I think the 15th is what they said, or at least that was the speculation. Who knows? Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but now would be that time to talk about that problem that I'm having with it, which is the same problem I had with Disco Elysium and one or two other games when playing on console, is that they're very text-heavy and I don't expect my console games to be that text-heavy. You know, I've played visual novels on consoles before, that's fine. They're obviously text-heavy to an extent as well. They don't tend to be quite as text-heavy as I'm finding this, or at least it's not as intimidating looking. It's not as kind of tabletop role-playing game kind of dialogue and having to remember things and having to keep track of things and having to investigate things. That's kind of more what I mean. When I'm playing a console game, I don't necessarily think of reading blocks of text and then going back and rereading those blocks of text and having five million notes around me all the time. Not that console games can't have good stories or in-depth stories, but they're not text heavy. To me, I don't know if this is just me or it's just a weird thing I have, but the more text heavy a game is, the more I would rather play it on PC. So that's another reason I don't know if I'm going to finish this because I'm playing it on Xbox Game Pass, on my Xbox. I don't know if I'm going to finish it on the console. I'd rather pick it up on Steam or something and play it there where I'm kind of sitting, focused, have a table, can make notes, do that kind of thing, and pay more attention because I'm more likely to pay attention when I'm sitting in a chair than when I'm lounging on my couch. So I just don't think it fits, for me, a console environment. That being said, I do enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. The characters are all unique and interesting to talk to. Not always fun to talk to, but interesting to talk to. And it's an intriguing premise. It's a really cool, like, aesthetic style they've gone for as well. And the music and stuff, it's kind of like a poppy kind of... I don't really know how to describe it. I know there's a word, but I can't think of it right now. 
So we'll have to see if I can come back to it on PC and finish it up. As it is, I think I've probably played about all I'll be able to get around to on console and I'm not likely to pick it up there again. There you go, that's been my experience with Paradise Killer. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments down below. Anything you want to tell me, any games you want me to try and play, no guarantees, but I'll do my best. Let me know that in the comments down below as well, and I will see you next time.